What's up guys, welcome to the channel, back to DJing. Just a quick unboxing for you today. It's a pretty simple unboxing as I don't think there's a whole lot in this box. So I'm gonna also do a quick comparison to a few other mics that I have already. Um, so yeah, the unboxing is the Shure SV100 multi-purpose microphone. The reason I picked this mic up is because it has an on-off switch on it. And I already have three mics, they came in a set they're just pile mics with on off switches very cheap little guys so i was kind of curious how this one would compare to these three that i have already since these were very inexpensive and this is also fairly inexpensive but it's regular 4175 and the piles are regular 8399 on amazon for three of them so uh comparatively uh, kind of pretty comparable in price so I was just kind of curious to see if the sure name would give me a better quality or not or if I should stick with the old piles that I have here and also I have a Behringer Ultra Voice XM8500 this is a pretty decent little mic it's also fairly inexpensive at $31.99 on Amazon these are all Canadian numbers of course because I'm here in Canada uh, this one cost me $29.99 so yeah let's just get straight into it here now, truth be told, I already unboxed this once already. Uh, the audio didn't record, so this is my second time. So the included XLR cable is already out of the package. Um, but anyways, it's a pretty simple unboxing. So let's open it up, show you what it comes with. Pretty, pretty plain Jane, just a sure mic in, in a bubble wrap. As a comparison, both the other two mics that I'm going to compare to came in cases. Um, I'm not going to show you the, probably the cases because I've already unboxed those a long time ago and one of them I don't use the case for. But anyways, let's open it up. And there we have it. The Shure SV100. Now, uh, kind of what I'm interested to know is how the handling noise is how noisy the on-off switch is, how it sounds in general, and how it is for pop protection. So in the box, it includes an XLR to quarter inch cable. Pretty cheapy, I probably won't use it. I actually wish that they would take that money and maybe put it more into the mic itself. And then a bunch of paperwork, warranty, all that kind of stuff. So what we're gonna do is give you a quick comparison of each of these mics how they sound so just give me one moment and i will go hook them up all right so what I'm going to do here is I have an XLR cable running to my mixer and everything set at flat and I have my zoom h1n hooked up to the mixer that will be recording the sound that you hear right now so first off we have the SV100 that's what you're listening to right now and we're gonna have a look at the handling noise and the switch noise and the pop noise when you're speaking into it and the general sound quality so first of all handling noise and then the switch and here's a soft click hard click and that's kind of one of the main things I'm looking for is how loud that switch is um, because I've noticed on my pile mics which are quite inexpensive the switch is pretty decent it's pretty quiet but we'll find out and the pop noise pop 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 check pop and of course the sound quality which you're kind of listening to as we go Okay, so let's plug in one of the pile mics now and see how that one sounds. Ch 
check, check, mic check. And this is without touching anything. I'm not turning the volume up and down on my recorder. I apologize for looking over here. I'm just checking my levels on the recorder. Make sure it's not piercing your guys' ears. So anyways, let's move on to the handling test on the pile. PDMICKT34. That's a mouthful. So anyways, handling noise. Okay, now let's move on to the switch. Now I'm actually trying to make noises with these switches. I'm clicking them fairly hard. And I'll do a soft click too. All right, and we'll check the pop noise. Pop, 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 pop. And general sound quality, you can tell as I'm talking. Let's switch over to the Behringer. And this is the Behringer XM8500. Uh, this, truth be told, is my favorite mic of the bunch, I believe. Um, I haven't really actually listened to the audio on the SV100, but I do know that I just like the sound of this Behringer quite a bit. The problem, though, is that it does not have the switch, which for me, at my DJ console, I prefer to have the switch so that I don't have to uh, be turning the volume knob up and down because I don't have a mute switch on my mixer. So that's the downfall of this mic. Otherwise, it would be my mic of choice. But let's check out the handling noise anyways. Pop, pop, pop noise, pop. And general sound quality, you can tell just as I'm talking. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm going to have a quick listen here to the audio and tell you guys what I think. All right, so I've had a chance to listen back to the audio of these three mics just to go over what we have. It's the Shure SV. 100 which goes for regular 41.75 i got it for 29.99 plus tax canadian we have the pile pdmickt 34 that comes in a case of three and goes for 83.99 it includes three xlr to one quarter inch cables and a carry case and then we've got the behringer ultra voice XM 8500 which is my favorite mic of the bunch but it does not come with a switch it goes for $31.99 on Amazon Canadian and it comes with a carrying case as well so let's start with handling noise um, starting with the sure I think this was the worst one of the bunch terrible handling noise I was hoping it would be better than that but it's definitely as you can see in the video quite noisy and like distractingly noisy. I was not impressed with it at all with the handling noise. Um, the pile, not great, but definitely better than the Shure. It's, you know, it's a budget mic and it's quite noisy as well, but I was really surprised that it is, I think, better than the Shure as far as handling noise. And then the best mic of the three, in my opinion, is the Behringer Ultra Voice. XM8500, really good for handling noise. You hear a little bit of thumping, um, but you don't hear all the scratchy type stuff. I think it's much nicer for handling noise. Uh, and let's move on to the switch noise. The Shure, again, I think it's the loser of the bunch. Well, can't really include the Behringer as it doesn't have the switch. But between the Shure and the Pile, I think the Shure is again the loser. Um, it's got a lot more, it's got a little bit more pop to the switch when you turn it on. Uh, the Pile isn't great, again, just like the handling noise, it's not great. But it's definitely not as bad as the Shure. It seems to come on with a little bit less of a pop. It does make some noise, as you can see in the video. But the spikes in the waveguide aren't as high and I found it less disturbing to my ears. Behringer, of course, no switch. 
that's what I wish it had because it's my favorite mic of the bunch. If it had a switch, I would definitely be using it. Okay, and then next we'll go on to pop noise. Uh, the Shure and the Pile, I think, are fairly even. Uh, I have a hard time telling with pop noise. I think a lot of it can vary depending on how you hold your mouth and how much you put into it. So I don't think that's very easy to judge, but definitely I think the best of the bunch is the Behringer for the pop noise. Uh, again, favorite mic. I just wish it had a switch. Uh, and then sound quality, my least favorite, again, is the Shure. My most favorite, again, is the Behringer and the Pile, middle of the road. Uh, both the Pile and the Behringer are, I think, a little bit more bassy sounding than the Shure, especially the Behringer. It's a little bit more low end. And I think it's just, I think the Behringer is just smoother sounding, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. And this one's maybe a little bit more harsh sounding. Uh, but yeah, that's my opinions on them. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. And so basically, if you want a, a switched mic that's budget friendly, I would say the pile's not too bad. There is another pile mic that's a step up, I think, from that one. Um, maybe I'll get that one and see how that one compares. Uh, but yeah, I think if you need a budget mic with a switch, I would go with the pile. If you don't need the switch, I would go with the Behringer. Sure, Mike, as far as budget goes, toss it. <laughs> I think I'm going to bring it back if I can. And uh, maybe I'll uh, bring it back and get a nicer, more expensive Sure because I know the nice Sures are good. I was expecting this to be a little bit better than it is. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, no. It's I don't think so. So anyways, that's it for this unboxing and comparison. If you got some value out of this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you get notified of my future videos and we'll catch you next time.